Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about aortic valve stenosis imaging. Aortic valve stenosis, it means the narrowing of aortic outflow tract which cause flow obstruction of the at the level of valvula, subvalvula or supravalvula. The etiology for this condition we focus on mostly in the adult disease. So the cause, the more common cause we can see only two. First one is degenerative or calcifying disease. The second is aromatic disease that there is a in sickening fusion of the and calcification of the aortic black black. Demographic age is prevalent of two to five percent in individual. More common is more than 65 years years increase with age. Epidemiology prevalent of aortic valve classification is around 25% at mean age of 65 years. More common signs and symptoms, syncope, angina, dyspnea, arrhythmia, increased risk of sudden cardiac death, and capital uh, symptom in that stage. Other signs and symptoms are like systolic abnormal, clinical profile, and some is symptomatic over long period, mystery killer, symptom develop late. So for diagnosis, the clue is high velocity systolic blood jet ejected into ascending aorta. To define it is aortic valve stenosis, we have to find the sickening children and or calcification of the valve of apparatus and valveless calcification. Increased trends, valvula pressure, gradient, and velocity. Concentric left ventricular hypertrophy. More than 12 millimeter myocardium sickness. In chest x ray, in case of Aortic stenosis, we see the enlarged cardiac silhouette in severe aortic stenosis, the left state indicating heart failure in AP view, the rounding of left ventricular, ventricular apex due to concentric hypertrophy in the AP view, aortic valve calcification in lateral view, Postenotic ascending aortic dilatation may be present. Aortic sclerosis and elongation are common. This AP radiograph in a patient with severe aortic valve stenosis so a dilated heart or rounded appearance of the cardiac apex caused by concentric left ventricular hypertrophy and tortuous 
with atherosclerotic calcification. On the lateral chest radiograph, in the same patient, I reveal aortic valve calcification in the upper middle one third of the gadget shadow, a finding highly suggestive of underlying aortic valve stenosis. The AP radiograph so dilated ascending aorta. This is a case of neonate. It, with heart failure. So, perichyla, pulmonary edema, and cardiomegaly. This infant had critical aortic stenosis. In this case, usually related to congenital condition. The PA radiograph demonstrated a convex appearance to the right myasthenium that suggests the latent of ascending aorta secondary to aortic valve stenosis. This has its ray in a adolescent demonstrate a border forming ascending aorta along the right mediastinium. This patient had aortic stenosis and typically post-stenotic dilatation of the ascending aorta. Forty. This is a case of forty years old male, limited exercise tolerance with mild shortness of breath on exertion. So his chest is ray so prominent of the right mediastinal border occupied by the ascending aorta. The ascending aorta is unfolded, but of normal caliber. Heart size is normal, no line of pleural abnormality. So what we what we can find in the CT if the patient concerned about the aortic valve stenosis. In non enhanced CT, so we can find the calcium So according to the score, and the cut off for severe aortic stenosis is more than one thousand and one hundred stone score. Sensitive around 93% and specificity around 82%. But if the score is more than 1,200 in female patient and more than 2,000 in male patient, used for diagnosis of severe low gradient or low flow stenosis. In conjugated CT, we can find fibrous leaflet thickening more than 2 mm and calcification 
planimetric measurement of aortic valve horrified area during mid just 5 to 35% of or integral. For stenotic dilatation of ascending aorta, concentric left ventricle hypertrophy, left ventricle dysfunction, and left ventricle dilatation in severe aortic stenosis in late state, pre planning for trans catheter aortic wire replacement, and post. Tran catheter aortic wire replacement evaluation. So this is a case of 40 years old male with limited exercise tolerance with mild short of breast on insertion. So his CTA of the Dora confirmed and large of the ascending aorta with normal caliber descending aorta. And non contrast CTA made the spec aortic valve calcification. This is a case of 60 years old male, female, aortic valve stenosis with mild calcification of the aortic valve, evidence of left ventricular hypertrophy, clearly seen in the coronal chest CT. This axial oblique cardiac CT show sickening and fusion of non coronary and right coronary cast, narrow systolic orifice area around 0.46 cm square between non coronary and left coronary cuff, and left and right coronary cuff. Yeah. Three chamber cardiac CT with sub valvula aortic stenosis, so a thin membrane causing left ventricular outflow tract obstruction. Subaortic membrane is a rare cause of aortic stenosis, whereas the most common type in the valvular aortic stenosis. This axial oblique cardiac CT, so a tri tricuspid valve, there is severely calcified and a fibrous sickening of platelet indicate the degenerative or rheumatic nature of the disease. Double oblique cardiac CT in the aortic valve plan so a big speed while with a calcification, calcified valve between the right and left coronary cast, note the descending systolic aortic valve orified area. This rat rat oblique sagittal cardiac CT show a button hole, critical stenosis with a slightly eccentric orifice, aortic valve orifice area less than one cm square indicated severe aortic stenosis. 
the three chamber cardiac CT. So second class with systolic orified narrowing black line indicate the level of short axis image. In the short axis cardiac CT, so moderate stenotic aortic wall area of 1.2 cm square around shape piece mouse aortic wall area is autonomic for B cuspid one. This is short axis cardiac CT, so concentric sickening of the left ventricle myocardium. For an oblique cardiac CT, so calcific aortic leaflet leading to restriction and steno stenosis of aortic valve. Coronal oblique cardiac CT, so heavy calcification in aortic stenosis, 3D volume rendering technical. Axial uh, axial contrast enhanced CT so postenotic dilatation of the ascending aorta in this adolescent with aortic valve stenosis. Note this discrepancy between the side of the main pulmonary artery and the ascending air time. Coronal CTA. So, supra valve narrowing of the ascending aorta in a sick Yes, all child with Williams syndrome know that the no narrowing is not discrete and involve the origin of the coronary artery. Co coronary MIP image from the from the cardiac CTA. So, supravalvular aortic stenosis in a patient with Williams syndrome, not the classic hour class shape of the ascending aorta. MRI finding typical juice in patient with suboptimal echocardiography or borderline severity on echo. Comprehensive, comprehensive evaluation of valve, myocardium, and aorta. In sign SSFP, so restrictive systolic opening of aortic valve, systolic flow void into the proximal aorta, Sickening and low signal of valve from calcification, morphology of valve, tricuspid, bicuspid, unicuspid, quadricuspid, planimetry aortic valve, area measure at the level trip. Tip of minimal area in systole using thin slide with no gap. Threshold for severity are highly using a more planimetry than effective orify area. Effective orify area can be calculated similar to a goal using left ventricle outflow track area and stroke volume. 
Live in the ground, remodeling, concentric, remodeling, concentric, hypertrophy, eccentric, hypertrophy, delay, dilatation, compensation, accurate assessment of life in the cover view, mass, and ejection fraction. In fast contrast, some of peak velocity and pressure gradient can be quantify for the flow of all so different cyclic flow pattern in bicuspid valve and its subtype let gallodinium enhancement subendocardial let gallodinium enhancement can be seen due to demand ischemic correlation with extent of interstitial fibrous fibrosis and increased with left ventricular hypertrophy inversely associated with degree of improvement and or cost mortality after aortic valve replacement can also evaluate viability in myocardial infarction. T1 MAP high native T1 in severe symptomatic aortic stenosis Native T1 and extracellular volume can be used to track left ventricular mass regression post aortic valve replacement. Perfusion image. Decreased myocardial perfusion reserve ratio of myocardial blood flow at hyperemia to rest. Indicator of microvascular dysfunction due to demand ischemia and dependent, independent predictor of symptom onset. Above angiography, aortic dilatation associated with bicuspid aortic valve, coartation also associated with BAV. TAVR evaluation. What measurement can be performed in um, or in those with contraindication to CT patient, particularly severe renal dysfunction or allergy? Post TAVR evaluation for complication. So this is the 3D chamber cardiac arm or in a 58 years old patient with severe aortic stenosis or second aortic valve leaflet resulting in restrict opening and systolic flow isolation. Note the bicuspid appearance of the aortic valve due to the fusion of the right and left Cause. Coronal oblique sign am also a jet in the ascending aorta. During life and the cause system indicate aortic valve stenosis. Or no fista sign of all in an adolescent bit by cospid aortic valve. So a defacing effect with signal void from the flow jet through the stenotic valve, no the sickening, the second aortic valve and the latation of the ascending aorta. Public or no fista sign and also signal wire along the left ventricular outflow track from tubulant flow. Finding were due to sub membrane causing stenosis. Three chamber view from a bright blood fista sign, cardiac and also a linear 
signal voice from evaluated velocity flow across a stenotic aortic valve. Cross-sectional view through aortic valve from the prime blood GRE sign can also a right cuspid aortic valve. Echocardiography finding. Trans-thoracic echocardiography, we can find classified signaling valve left leg, left ventricular dysfunction, left ventricular hypertrophy, and enlarged. Color and power Doppler indicate of severe stenosis if not more life function. Can calculate of the aortic valve area by continuity e equation. Trantoraxic echography is a primary imaging modality for diagnosis and staging of the disease severity. This is a case of 70 years old male, single episode background of progressive rewards and dysmere, optical high chamber view, surreptitiously echogenic and distorted aortic valvular apparatus apparent, visible interventricular septum hypertrophy with preserved sickening and invert exclusion. This is a case of seven years old male, same patient in the color Doppler demonstrate erasing throughout the left ventricle outflow tract area of low convergent extend through most of visible left ventricle. The same case. In the continuous wave Doppler gate directed through flow track based on color flow profile, peak velocity around 5.4 m per second. This is also same case of echography. So at the parastenal short axis view is the zoom to aortic valve, which is three leaflet classification with subtle shadowing extend along annulus and valve commissura impression of severe aortic stenosis. This is uh, echography, same patient at parastenal axis, zoom to the arctic valve, notable for severe classification of right coron coronary cast, non coronary cast of, of plan, no dilatation of arctic group, no flap is in lumen. And geographic finding. Conventional systolic jet into aortic and severe calcification. Right and left catheterization are low, while apparatus surface cardiac function and pressure measurement in preoperative assessment, valvular gradient measure during catheter pullback. Calculation of aortic valve area.
In this angiogram, so a jet across the aortic valve. from severe aortic stenosis in two weeks old infant, note the rotation of ascending aorta. time. Autogram, so a supra one Valvular aortic stenosis with a typical our class shape of ascending aorta. Frontal image from left ventricular injection, so a sick can left ventricular wall. Not more aortic power and concentric narrowing of the initial portion of the ascending aorta. Note the dilated sinus of Vasava in this child with Williams syndrome. Front of view of a catheter angiography so the late dilation of ascending aorta, doming with a restrict motion of the aortic valve left pad, and systolic ejection. Front of view of the of the left ventricle injection and go so seeking aortic valve left pad. Narrowing, orify, and post-denotic dilatation of the aorta. Imaging recommendation. Best imaging tool is echocardiography and among I protocol advice, ECG gated cardio cardiacity. What so what is the difference of diagnosis for aortic stenosis? First one is the generative classifier of stenosis. Second is aromatic heart disease. Third is bicuspid aortic valve. Four is sub aortic stenosis. Need to dispense if it can be congenital or idiopathic and supra valvular aortic stenosis, usually extremely rare and usually associated with William Burden syndrome and rare cause sometimes caused by infective endocarditis. Also can cause aortic stenosis by vegetation, radiation, vulvulitis. The treatment, surgical aortic valve replacement is standard treatment in patients with severe aortic stenosis. Mortality rate about 4% for aortic valve replacement, 7% with accompanying coronal artery bypass grafting, 10% with repair of another valve. Aortic valve replacement 10 year survival rate around 85%. Thank you.